Hey, thank you for checking out this video. We're going to be doing a new series where we're going to be uploading one or two videos a week, just going over sections of Learn the Kaizo. Now, what I will tell you is that I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be telling you how to do bits and pieces of these, but there's still going to be a speaker box that you can jump up and hit with Mario's head in each level. That'll give you even more information. So make sure you utilize that as well as what I'm telling you. Good luck. Welcome to the first level. Jumping is funny because while it's easy to jump, the underlying mechanics of the jump are what make Kaizo so difficult at times. There are two kinds of jumps. Normal jumps and spin jumps. 99% of the time when you're going to be making these jumps, you're going to make sure you're holding the SNES controller's Y button. Each jump has its own purpose. For instance, the spin jump or the A button is great for spin riding on specific enemies, sauce, and smashing enemies. It can also be used to jump lower when you need a more precise jump since normal jumps were actually created to be higher by design. Utilizing a jump that will not go as high can sometimes benefit you. The normal jump, or the B button, well it's just normal and it's going to make you jump higher and it also won't kill enemies in a single smash. Each jump can be affected by either holding its corresponding button or letting go of the button as Mario descends. If you hold onto the button, then Mario's going to descend slower. If you let go, then he's going to drop quicker. This is important to remember and will aid you on your Kaizo journey. The level here may or may not have a gift left by the creator known as a Kaizo block. Make your first jump and journey onward. This level teaches you what is commonly known as the Chuck Gate. The Chuck reacts to Mario and will jump when he jumps, as long as you time it correctly. It does not matter if it's a spin jump or a normal jump. The best timing is to jump when his hands are in the air. Make sure that you are not super close to the munchers, or you won't have time to actually gather enough speed to run underneath him. Be about the distance that I am, time your jump, and you can move onward. Welcome to the reversed Chuck Gate level. These really aren't too many hacks from what I've seen, so pick the Chuck at the bottom of the pit with a grain of salt. What's important to know is that if you're running and holding jump at the same time, holding Y to run, and then holding B or A, while you're going over that small gap commonly known as a one tile, then Mario's going to be able to run over it without falling into it. In this scenario, do a small jump before you're moving, and then hold on to whichever jump button you use. Start running over that one tile without touching the jump. Welcome to Kaizo 1 Homage. This level goes over utilizing bullet builds to be able to clear long distances. In this scenario, it's good to know that Mario is going to eventually end up going faster than the bullet build. So what you're going to want to do is jump out as far as possible and make sure you're holding jump the entire time. When you're landing on the top build, make sure it's on the far right of it and do what's known as a left right. The left right is more or less just making Mario sort of go to the left, sort of slow him down and then make him push right again that way he's able to keep up with the bills and he's not going faster than them. Watch this and mimic it as I know it's sort of difficult and it's sort of hard to explain it, but to be able to watch it's going to help you a lot. Welcome to Timing is Key. In this level, you will learn that Mario is capable of spin jumping on the Lava Lotus. What you will want to do is do a spin jump through the fireballs that are shot out and make sure you're holding the jump the entire time. Even when you're landing on the Lotus itself, this will keep Mario bouncing high enough to hit the blocks. That way he's going to be able to make it out fast enough to escape the next round of fireballs. Alright, welcome to Skull Raft Jumps. So what you're going to want to know is that this raft will actually give you momentum. So you want to make sure that you're not jumping against it, but you're actually using it and you're running forward to be able to make specific kinds of jumps. As long as you know to do that, you're going to be just fine.
welcome to the Disco Shell. The best way to describe this part is like Mario's riding a bucking bronco. It's also good to note that Mario is going to eventually end up moving faster than the shell itself. To combat this, all you'll want to do is let go of Y but still hold the direction that you're needing to go. Press Y once Mario slowed down and is nearing the middle of the shell. In this scenario, jump out as far as possible, land on the right of the shell since that's the direction we're needing to go. Make sure you're holding Y, right, and make any speed changes that are needed. Good luck! Welcome to Mind the Gap. This level teaches you how to spin right on the fish known as Fugu. Fugu will react to Mario and follow him wherever he's going. You will want to spin jump out into the pit and have Fugu follow you. The hitbox you're going to be working with here is actually the size of a shell and is in my opinion one of the worst ones in the entire game. You can either hold spin jump and do a high bounce off of it with left or right, or you can let go of jump and ride on him. You'll want to let go of Y though once you're riding on him, that way you're making sure that Mario is not going to end up going faster than Fugu. Alright, welcome to Press Down to Win. There are a couple things here. So, first of all, water levels suck. But if you're holding down and jumping at the same time, it becomes much easier to control Mario. So this is what happens when you hold down and then just tap jump. It, he literally stays in one spot, versus if you just tap jump, how it sort of becomes moon physics. If you really need Mario to shoot upwards, if you hold up and jump, then he just goes really high up there. So, first things first, hold down and then just start tapping jump and sort of get the hang of the timing of this, right? So, once you've gotten the timing of it, start to hold forward on the D-pad, stop right here, sort of slide upwards and move Mario over. Then just sort of, it's a stop and go, don't try and go through this too fast, because if you go through it too fast, you're just gonna really have a bad time. See, actually, I, I went too fast, so let's sort of slow down here, move over, stop here, up. Wait a second. Tap jump while holding down. There we go. So that's gonna take a while to get used to, but I promise swimming isn't as bad as it looks. The water levels are always terrible. You're gonna hate them. At least the basics of swimming becomes much easier. 